up, y'all. For some reason, I'm being led differently today. Of all days, I'm being led differently on the surrender messages. Okay. And tonight, um, tonight we need to surrender to our feelings. We need to surrender to how we feel in. We need to surrender to the essence of all things like so if we're triggered we need to understand why we're triggered if we are if we are um sad we need to surrender to the reasons behind why we're sad so we need to do the work surrounding those emotions all right and sometimes sometimes it's is a little work to be done because sometimes these things are beyond your control but we need to surrender to how we feel about certain things. Because those feelings towards those things is what's going to make or break us. You know? And I'm definitely not saying not to have your feels. I'm saying we need to understand why. We need to understand why certain things get us the way that they get us. Now we're supposed to be surrendering to joy, surrendering to, we're supposed to be surrendering to joy, you know, surrendering to the things that make us happy as well. We're also supposed to surrender to our full power, all right? And so what is our life calling? And we can't play our life calling small and also surrender to the beauty of the natural world. All right, so we're surrendering to our feelings because we have to be able to understand our feelings in order to be in complete and total submission of joy as well as being able to step into our full power, our full authentic self, our complete and whole self. We can't do that without addressing our feelings. And there is a need to surrender to the beauties of the natural world to understand how to get back to our How to get back to our ways, our, our natural intuitions, our natural instincts in order to be able to really understand this and the alchemy. We need to understand nature as, as a whole. And y'all just bear with me because these things are just coming in, okay? I'm, I'm, I have my cards done. I, I'm, I'm not really using the cards. I'm just... They're, they're kind of like guides right now. But I had to do a face front video. Yeah, so lots of things about feelings. You know, memories of love. If we have in these memories of love and how love presented itself in our life. Number six, how love presented itself in our lives. You know, like we really need to surrender to our feels. need to rest and rejuvenate we need to be able to understand this is for we need to be able to understand what's going on what's going on with our energies what's going on with our with the way we're thinking what's going on with how we're responding what's just what's going on so we need to we need to rest and rejuvenate we need to replenish ourselves because see this battle is bigger than us we need to be patient one four to be patient we planted so many seeds all right and then there's that one seed that we planted that's going to transform our entire lives 
but we have to be open to connecting with our feelings and surrendering those feelings y'all that's not even a card but that was that was the download that i got like it's i don't even think it's a card in the deck that talks about feelings but we gotta surrender our feeling in order to tap into our full power in order to understand the essence and the joys that are you know that are there to get back to understanding the beauty of the world and having different feelings and memories of love and other types of emotions and what's triggering us finding that solitude and getting back to our space y'all coming back fully charged after this because we're moving into this this uh this lunar eclipse so we're moving into the lunar and the solar and so it's a lot of things that need to be rectified before we get there y'all all right and that's coming up like so it's time for you to take charge of these situations, take charge of these feelings, because you are a leader here. It's time for you to take charge of these feelings. Time for you to be able to express yourself outwardly, creatively. You know, just being able to get back to your normal. And then project this energy of healing because your spiritual gift is healing others. And you have a desire to share these healing abilities with other people, but you cannot do that unless you surrender to your feelings. A lot of this stuff can't be done until we completely and totally surrender our feelings and completely and totally surrender to our healing process because everyone has a different process of healing, y'all. No one's healing is the same. No one's journey is the same. So you're all going to go about healing differently. And yes, you can receive guidance, but how you, how you apply that guidance is solely up to you. And the application of your guidance is based solely on how you confront your feelings, how you confront your emotions. What else? Did? Yeah. 33. All this divine information is coming in right now. Y'all. Yeah. Mm hmm She feels and she knows. 22. Y'all see these, these synchronicities? She feels and she knows. You feel and you know. Surrender to these feelings, y'all. This is the message. I knew I knew the spirit was gonna lead it. But surrender to these feelings because you feel and you know where it is, and you you trying to you trying to connect to it, but you need to go deeper. You need to go deeper into your process. All right, because and and I'm talking about go so deep that it gets ugly, okay. But but you feel it and you know what it is, right? Thirty four in the world, not of the world. Y'all get me? Y'all get this? Y'all see what spirit's saying? You in this world, but you are not of this world. So you need to take yourself out of these things. That's going on around us. Because in order for you to heal yourself and others and all of that, you gotta confront these emotions. Like they that's why it's so electrifying. It's like, whoa, you know, we gotta confront this stuff. Y'all feel me? I know y'all feel me. Y'all, divine downloads are coming in. A lot of us are ready for it. A lot of us are ready for it. A lot of us think we're not ready for it, but we're ready for it. So we got to connect with these feelings. Because we're, we'll never be able to understand joy. We'll never be able to harness our power. We won't be able to align mind, body, and soul with nature until we do these things. Connect with these feelings of love. These memories of love. How we view love. Maybe the way we view love isn't love at all. Maybe we need to look, look at a new way to view love. Because maybe what we were taught wasn't the accurate uh, display of love, y'all. We got to let go. 26. It's time to let go. And in order to let go, you got to know what you're letting go of. 
you holding on to this dead space right here you see what i'm talking about it's dead like it no longer serves a purpose and everybody in the back looking like what the heck they still holding on for it no longer serves a purpose in your life it has to go it's hindering you you think that they think that you crazy you need to let this go 17 beauty insecurities what we see on the outside yeah, yeah, none, none, the outside don't even matter it's this connected with these feelings connected with these emotions to get this aligned so that you can project self-love so that your love can project outwardly don't know why i want no person with no nasty soul I know a lot of people like, oh, why do ugly people always get the, the best relationships? Because they got pretty souls. Because they don't fix all that bull crap. They don't connect with all them emotions and they project that outwardly. And somebody say, oh, that person is beautiful. Because it ain't about the physical. The physical going to fade, y'all. All that. I'm 35 years old. I, I, I can't begin to compete with a 20 year old. I can't begin to. Not as I, I know I'm pretty, y'all, but I can't begin to compete with them because I'm going to begin to age. And if this soul is ugly, then everybody going to not want to be around me because they're going to be like, oh, she got an ugly soul. But everybody will want to be around you once they align, once you align all of this. And then everybody like, wow, she's just so amazing. I just love everything about her. That's how it works. You got to love yourself first. And once people see how you love yourself, then they'll love you the same way. There you go, spirit. People do what you allow. People are gonna do what you allow them to do to you. So if you're being treated poorly, it's because you're allowing it. Because you don't you don't find the worth in yourself. You don't see yourself worth. So it's because you're allowing it. You gotta change the way you view yourself so that others can change the way they view you. And then overall, your beauty, the way you view beauty would change as well. 32, suppressing that phoenix still. This phoenix want to fly so bad, y'all. She want to fly so bad, but she can't. So we need to allow that phoenix to flourish. We need to allow that phoenix to do what that phoenix needs to do, y'all. Okay? Okay. That's what needs to be healed. That's what has to be healed. Like, there's no other way, y'all. We can't, we can't do it no other way. Like, we gotta let it go, love ourselves, so that that phoenix can flourish, that phoenix can rise, and that phoenix can show the world what it's made of. Mm -hmm. What else, spirit? Pay close attention to the messages. These messages is coming through, but they coded, y'all. These messages are coded. Pay attention. These downloads are coded. They are heavenly. They are divinely sent. Pay attention to them. I ain't showing y'all my deck because y'all need to be taking notes. Spirit needs y'all to take notes. Your growth increases when you realize the role that you played in the experience connecting with that feeling connecting with your feelings that's how your growth increases that's how things expand y'all that's how it works you have to understand your role in this experience and move on from it lastly in this situation, it was disappointing every time you repeated this situation, every time you took that person back, every time you allowed this person to do this thing to you. It was disappointing every time. That's And that meant that you did not learn the lesson. And when you continuously repeat certain cycles, you haven't got the message. You got to get the message. Are you going to be in it again? You're going to be in it again and again and again and again and again and again. And that's it. But you have to learn the message. I'll be having to look around with my with my good eye because <laughs> the 
the other one eye. My third, my third eye is gone. My second eye is still here, but my first eye is on point, y'all. It is clear. 2020. <laughs> 2020. All right, y'all. One agreement. Always do your best. Honor yourself. That's what fear says. Fear says, honor yourself. All right, so honor the man or woman that you are, right? Because if you honor it, guess what? Everybody else is too. All right? Take that risk to express your dreams. Take action. All right? Because taking action is about living fully and expressing what you are. I don't know if y'all can see that. It might be in reverse. But honor yourself. Honor yourself and other people are going to honor you. Express yourself the way you want to be perceived by the world. But honor yourself. You honor yourself. Everybody else going to honor you. They're going to be like, oh my goodness. He is so amazing. She is so amazing. Then you're going to have something like, oh my goodness. I just want to be just like, I want to be humble like her. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be assertive like him. I'm telling y'all, that's how this thing works. But you got to honor yourself first. Because if you don't honor you, ain't nobody else finna honor you. And what they be saying, what that little slang they say, that's on period. That's on period, period. That's what it is. That's for real. We got one more. And we closing this thing out. I haven't been led to give extendeds right now. And I feel like I'm being led to do more intuitive messages like these. But we'll see. Mm, past life. So, these situations and memories involve your past life. So, we need to connect with those feelings and those emotions. Surrender those feelings from your past life. And when I say past life, I don't even necessarily mean the life before this physical life in this physical form maybe the life before your awakening what was that life like because see we awaken and we forget, we forget that we were that person <laughs> and so when we talk about past life we could be talking about the past life memories before your awakening before your ascension what was that life like what memories from that life i ain't talking about during your healing because Things are supposed to hurt during your healing. I'm talking about the life before you ascended, the life before you knew that you were being called to do something of a greater purpose, the life before you were called to your soul. What was that life like? Were you an addict? Were you, were you, um, were you promiscuous? Were you, um, were you angry? Were you depressed? Were you, did you have anxiety? Were you molested? Were you? raped were you um because they're they're different were you um were you assaulted were you emotionally abused were you physically abused were you um you know it's so many things that could have happened to you that you need to connect with were you loved were you neglected like what was that past life like before your ascension so when you think past life don't think that that message ain't for you because that message could definitely be for you so tonight, y'all, we surrendering to our feelings. We're surrendering to joy, but we can't get the joy unless we acknowledge our feelings. We're surrendering to our full power, but we can't get to our full power unless we acknowledge our feelings. We're surrendering to the beauties of nature, but we cannot understand the beauty of nature until we connect with those emotions and connect with those feelings so that we can begin to see things as they should be seen. Connecting with those memories of love, 6414, that's y'all angel numbers. Look that up because it's a message within the message for you. 
You are a leader. You went through all of this stuff so that you can be able to lead other people through it. You're supposed to be expressing yourself creatively while you're going through this storm and while you're going through this thing. You're supposed to be expressing yourself. And that way, when you come on the other side of this, you'll be able to heal others. You're in a situation to where you can heal others effectively without taking yourself back through the process. Because you can't heal people if you're not healed. Because if you're not healed and you're healing people, you're going to take yourself back through the process of healing. Thank you, Spirit. You're getting these divine downloads because that's what it is. This one right here, though, you feel and you know. Listen, y'all ain't never seen this card before. That should tell you something. All right, that should tell you something. You feel and you know. You're in this world, but you are not of this world anymore. Boo-boo. Bobo. Y'all not of this world anymore because you are here. You are on this video that means that you are not really in that world anymore. You're in this world. You're in this world where you're trying to discover your soul purpose. So when you're in this world, you have to think of this world. And then when you go back to that world, you got to think of that world. But you got to let go of whatever this is. You got you got to enhance your self-love, your self-worth. You got to do that. And you got to let that phoenix rise. But that phoenix ain't going to rise until you understand your worth, your value. Pay close attention to the messages because they're going to come distorted. They're not going to be full messages. When the, when the divine speak, they're not going to be full messages. They're going to come in and they're going to come in, in little, little flashes. They're going to come in dreams. They're going to come in sounds on the radio. They're going to come in interruptions. So pay close attention to the messages because they're going to be coded and you need to be in a place to where you can receive these messages. Your growth comes when you understand your position within that experience. Your growth comes also when you understand how this experience transform you or how this experience assisted you in this purpose anytime you find yourself repeating the cycle is because you did not learn the lesson so go back and figure out what lessons you need to learn honor yourself so other people can under you and connect with these past life memories because if you do not connect with these memories of of pain, hurt, love, all that stuff. If you do not connect with this, you will not be able to experience what you're trying to experience. So that's it, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the content. If you like the content on this page, go ahead and hit like, leave me a comment, and I'll holler at y'all. Oh, yeah, yeah.